the brightest in the bluegrass. This is Everyday Kentucky. Welcome to Everyday Kentucky. I, I was going to say, did you just forget who I was? We were going to put you out of the shot. Like any of you get out the shot. <laughs> we just going to take over. Good morning, everyone. I'm India Jones. And I'm Jim Caldwell. And of course, the beautiful and talented lady in the middle, Chef Wida Michael. Chef Wida, we are so glad to have you here. I'm so happy to be here. I'm on pins and needles. I, I barely slept last night worrying no. about this. Uh, and, and in anticipation as well of seeing India and Jim. I'm oh. So oh, I'm so happy to be here. And I brought What's you this a treat. about? Okay. Well, you know you're my Cookie Monster, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> I've been told, yes. <laughs> but I, I hear there was a friend of yours that said you were going to get a big reward if Barbasol went off without a hitch because of the weather. Because of weather. And you delivered, and so I was called to deliver. And, and you did deliver. <laughs> I, I mean, that right there is a platter. It's now, a platter. It's not just a couple cookies. So uh -huh. it's brownies and lemon bars and <gasps> sorghum crinkles and oatmeal raisin and chocolate chip and Woodford cookies and uh, little coconut macaroons. So those are all. For, and for you, you can share them. And none of these were made out of a can, were they? Oh, no. Those are <laughs> yeah, no, oh, all homemade. To the no. I don't know if I can say the um, other one. But <laughs> I'm like with Chef Wheatley for her cooking, okay? No. That's exactly right. Uh, Chef Wheatley, you've been stuff. doing a lot lately. It's so funny because every time I talk to someone, they're like, Chef Wheatley this, Chef Wheatley I'm like, how do you know her? <laughs> Everyone knows you here in Fayette County. And, of course, you've been doing big things. Tell us what you've been up to lately. Well, we opened a little cooking studio. It's on Main Street and for sale. 167 Main Street and it's been my dream to have a place to teach cooking classes and so I it's really hard to teach cooking classes in a commercial kitchen we're busy there's lots of cooks around it's noisy and so I have this beautiful little studio you can sign up for classes online at our website Holly Hill & Co we sold the first group out but I'm getting I've got my thinking cap on <laughs> By the end of this month, I'll have the next ones available for October, and I taught my first class on Saturday, and um, I don't know, it was a dream come true. It's a little dream come true mm -hmm. for me. It's my act three. I, I'm maturing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Right. No. <laughs> no, I have more energy than I've ever had in my life, but I, I, um, I think I... Every year gets better. You know, we do all get older, but we also get better the whole time. Do you feel that way? I feel that way. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I tell everybody I'm entering my Act 3. Ooh, I and love that. It's going to be part of my Act 3. And I, I loved teaching, it was wonderful. Yeah, I love that. Well, we are so glad you're here and you're well, able to you. join us. I know Jim has been waiting for your arrival. Right. <laughs> I, I mean, I knew you were going to bring something, but I didn't know you were going to bring a spread like that. And 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 it's it's for me. I'm not sharing it with anybody else. That's that's. Oh, here comes India to get I, one. Another thing. How dare you say you don't share with anyone? What? I'm still stealing something. Oh, that's the lemon that's bar. That's a lemon bar, and it looks delicious. Okay, yeah. so Chef Wita, does is there? My friends always ask me, is there anything in this that I cannot eat? I'm allergic to nuts. There's Before no I, nuts in there. Great. It's fresh to... lemon juice only, icing. See that, babe? Look, egg, sugar, butter. I asked. Well, well, Perfect. Uh, Why the burger flour? I'm going to eat in a minute. I'll, I'll oh, you're wait. better. Well, uh -oh. I'm not. Oh, well, well. You're up to oh, read. Oh. <laughs> Let's start with what's trending this morning. The Barbasol Championship wrapped up yesterday in Nicholasville. And now, as of right now, there's no contract extension. The golf tournament started in 2015. It's been in Nicholasville since 2018. It marked the first PGA Tour in the uh, event in the Bluegrass since uh, 1959 that stayed here on a regular basis. Now, the tournament's five-year contract in Kentucky ended Sunday. Many who attended hope it'll stay here in the Commonwealth. Uh, for sure, local, um, being easy to get to um, with a family and stuff and a, a real small baby, it's, um, you know, we live 30 minutes away and um, just having pride in our town and um, having a PGA event come here is really awesome. The fact that it was here and, and accessible and such a beautiful place, yeah, that's why we're here. PGA Tour rookie Vincent Norman won the Barbasol Championship in a playoff yesterday, beating out Nathan Kimsey. So, exciting time out there. And, and as Chef Wheatley said earlier, the, the weather held off. We had some rain on Saturday when I was out there uh, watching some of the activities. 
We did have some rain, but it didn't delay play. There were no thunderstorms immediately in our area around us, so everything uh, went off without any major issues. So uh, they played through the rain and, and end up being a decent day out there. They're going to stay. I, that's what I'm hoping for. Chef Lena says they're going to stay. I hope they're going to stay. They need to know how much we love them, right? We the, love them. We love them that they're here. We do love that they're here. And you know. it's got a mouthful of women. And you can't talk to us. Right <laughs> She's just over there hanging out. opening my mouth because the problem is a lot of the times when people bring things that have nuts in them, let me tell you something, this is so good. And I've tried to master lemon bars. I can't master them yet. Chef Wita, just come live with me. I will send you a recipe. <laughs> Man, her Well, now I know so what good. her favorite is. I'm going to have to start bringing two plates. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you get now cookies, you, you get lemon bars. Yeah, you, mm. you can't leave me out. I'll start to get jealous. Oh, uh, that's look how at this the works. mess, Jim. I'm just... <laughs> I see the mess. Okay, great. It's great. Well, about 160,000 Hollywood actors are going on strike after union talks with major studios and streaming services failed. So members of the Screen Actors Guild now join more than 11,000 members of the Writers Guild of America who have been on strike against the same studios since the beginning of May. That's the first time its members have stopped work on movie and television production since 1980. And the actors walked out after a final day of negotiations on Wednesday did not produce an agreement. The president of SAG After Union says that the studio management's offers were insulting and disrespectful. Now, the union's rank and file members voted 98 percent in favor of authorizing that strike. So that means a lot of your favorite stuff. It's not going to be produced. Uh, yeah. we, uh, we're going to hit a snag on on that until they can get this all worked out, and it's on different levels with different uh, you know divisions, as you heard her talk about there. So, uh, you've got us. Uh, so. Say, you know, <laughs> you know, we're still here. Our, our people are part of those unions, so uh, well, we we're still right here. You can watch Everyday Kentucky. And let that be your new uh, Jim, new favorite show. You do know if. Our producers went on a strike. They would just have weather back to back to back. So I don't know why you're so excited. You would have to do all the work. I would have to do quite a bit more. Mm -hmm. You're right. Because, because the moment something happened, you hear in there, go to weather. Just go to weather. <laughs> when, when things, that's right. So sometimes if you sing you do a weather in a weird spot for minutes upon minutes, yeah. Shifuita, oh, yeah. that's what's happened. Something went haywire in the back. And <laughs> they, they stick it out there. Well, we're all living in fear and worry about weather these days. We are. So we're when right. you come on, it reassures us. And that's why we always want to see you on the Weather Channel because we want to know that everything's going to be all right. That's your main job. Everything's going to be all right. Get yourself to a secure location and get under the table. There everything's go. going to be all right. You paid attention to these kids. Yeah, she's oh, yeah. Attention, of course. Well, pilots with United Airlines have reached a tentative agreement. Agreement? What am I saying? Agreement with the airline on a new four-year contract. Now, the new deal will give pilots a substantial pay raise up to 40%. I like the sound of that. <laughs> the Airline Pilots Association says the agreement also includes better retirement benefits, Ooh. job security, and addresses quality of life issues. The union says the agreement ends a stalemate that has lasted four years. Its 16,000 members still must approve the deal. So we have to wait for that to, to come through. But uh, looks like at least one, you know, uh, right. one union and one organization have uh, worked out some deals there. So we'll see, or about to. So we'll see what happens. All we need next is talent. Talent starting to make a, <laughs> go on some type of strike. Talent? What, who, who's talent? Uh, talent for the news. Uh, oh! Yes. Let us start going on strike. We'll have all the anchors going strike, the reporters going strike. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. No, we can't be organizing <laughs> that right here it? live on television like I'm that. Kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, uh, uh, here's the thing, especially not our crew. That's, Our crew would never do something like that. That's right. We just we hang out. We, we have a good time. <laughs> and a lot of people have been hanging out with Taylor Swift. That's right. Oh, Her Harris yeah. tour has taken cities across the country by storm since it launched on March 17th. Now the Federal Reserve says the Swift's Air Tour is also boosting the U.S. economy. The Philadelphia Federal Reserve also credits Swift's tour with increasing hotel revenue in the city. And Chicago officials say that her concert there in June helped set an all-time record for hotel rooms occupied with more than Check this out, 44,000 hotel rooms booked each night of the concert. Now, Swift recently extended her tour, announcing dates in South America, Asia, Europe, Australia, and more. And Lexington. Uh, right? <laughs> I wish. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I know. Bring herself right on back here. 
But you know, it's not just Taylor Swift too. That's crazy because I believe Beyonce will be uh, in town. She just went to Nashville and now she's going to other cities. And so hopefully she can do the same thing. But you know, I think a lot of people are just really excited because it's Taylor Swift. You got so many people to go out there, yeah. thousands upon thousands of people. And they had a good time. There was no fighting, no, you know, screaming. Exactly. Everybody enjoyed one another and it was just a good party. She is such a boss. Yes. So is Beyonce, by the way. Yes. The two of them are inspiration for everybody. I mean, oh, absolutely. Really, yeah. the way they perform, the way their creative talents, but their business acumen. Right. It's fire. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah, they're both taking off. I mean, they, they expect, you know, a billion dollars on each one of their tours. You right? Know? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's an incredible amount of money, and people are going out in droves to see them. Yeah, that's right. Well, speaking of money, though, look at this. This is my favorite. <laughs> Today is National Lottery Day, and so if Jim and I are not here tomorrow, you know what that means. <laughs> the Powerball jackpot is getting just a little bigger once again. Nobody won Saturday's drawing for the $875 million prize. Today, will be your next chance to claim the prize, an crazy. estimated 900 million. This is crazy. This will be the third largest Powerball jackpot ever. Incredible money. Weta, mm -hmm. what do you do if you, after taxes, you're gonna get five, 600, something like that million. What is the first thing you do if you win that kind of money? I would spend the rest of my life trying to give it away. I think that would be the most fun thing about winning the Powerball is to be able to reward all the people like food chain. I would say, oh, I need a couple million dollars. Okay, you know, my little church that's always struggling. Oh, you need a million, let's put a million dollars into the foundation so we can keep it open. Just things like that. I, I would have a really fun time. Plus, I'd redo my kitchen and take a trip around the world. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's that part too, <laughs> that. absolutely, yes. India, you? Um, Jim. You're still eating. She's still Thank a little you. more. I would just disappear, as I've always would said. Would really? I'd just disappear. I'd after. become India's private chef if she oh, wins. Oh, you, for the, she could. For a low, low sum of a quarter of a million dollars. It's a very <laughs> a bargain. That is a bargain and for you. I would just retire into making plates of lemon bars for her. <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> healthy, nut-free meals. Thank you. I mean, that sounds like the life. The absolute life is where I don't have to cook ever again. I mean, I'm not good at it anyway. So, <laughs> you know, to have Chef Wida of all people, I'll take that deal. So in today's live poll. We're asking. Thank you. <laughs> are you playing the Powerball? It looks like 43% say no and 57% say yes. You can vote right now by searching for Everyday Kentucky on Facebook. Click the profile picture, view the story, cast your vote. Also, head over to Instagram and vote there as well. WKYT Everyday KY. People are playing. There will be some play. There are some say they won't. But deep down, here's what happens to me. I go into the store. I walk by, and I'm like, I probably ought to play tonight. Yeah. That's when it hits me, and I'm like, oh, it's it's $900 million. Probably ought to play. I ought to play when it's 20 because I could use You're 20 not? million as well. You know, that's it's true. I like to play just to daydream. I like to buy my little ticket, and then I lay around thinking, what would I do with all that? And I write mm -hmm. my list of all the people <laughs> I give my money to. Start making my airline reservations. Yeah, it's that, worth that, it just to daydream. Just just to have that kind of hope. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more after the break. That's right. So keep it right here on Everyday Kentucky.